Oh, dear, it's wonderful here. You know, it takes it out of you, Sean, doing television the whole, the whole time. I mean, I've re you must know. I mean, you have Hard to go on two times a day. Ooh, indeed. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just a bit... You're ruined. Could you just slow her a bit? Because it's making a lot of noise. Just make it... You see, what we're trying to do, uh, uh, viewer, is create the ambiance of a desert island because uh, we want to make people think that we're on holiday. And, uh, <laughs> and tonight's programme is a holiday show, which is a bit difficult because Jerry Hayes has found out we dropped his spot in the programme tonight. <laughs> do you... Look, I don't mind you sitting there doing that, but could you do it properly? <laughs> Sean, I'm so sorry about this. Don't worry. Are you sure? Yeah, go ahead. That's okay. I'm, fine. I'm, I, fine. I'm going to have a little paddle and just see if the water's okay and what sort of water quality we have here, first of all. So I'll join you in a few moments. Don't do that. <laughs> Good <laughs> sake. Indeed, special guest, first one on the show tonight, Sean, who is, of course, well known for uh, all. I'm sorry about this, Sean. <laughs> I can go. Can you? Fine, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> uh, look, could you stop it for a moment? Okay. And first of all, why is the Tory party not doing something about these awful people who still wish to go around hunting whales? Yeah. G7. Are you sure? Yep. Will you make those people, and if anybody's watching from the, uh, the, the Pharaohs, I mean, they can stop it immediately. No, the Pharaohs are all dead, Jane. Are they? Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a little, uh, a, li a little music here on the desert island tonight uh, with a sophisticated style. Please welcome Kit and the Widow. <laughs> Thank you. Well, this is Kit and I's version of the English holidaymaker abroad in the continent. You see, we were on our way to do a date on the south coast of Spain. We went into the terminal at Heathrow and uh, there was a little girl behind the counter playing, looked very helpful. And we said to her, what's it going to be like when we get there? She looked at us and said... Spain isn't quite as fun as some people say Like a year ago today I argued with my fiancé All right, I said, I'm going on holiday With my friend Elaine She I'd read it in the Daily Star It was a marvellous bargain She said, you get this room with one double bed A deluxe hotel quite near the Costa del Sol We'll disco every night Find a nice Espanol book a play We'll go to Spain Arriba! Boys find Elaine a lot of fun I think sometimes she's a pain She was in Spain Since she saw Bo Derek in ten She's been sure she's God's gift to all men And she was off again On our second day Some bloke rubbed her with a pre soleil then He told her how he sang flamenco in a band called Los Prophylactos and by manana, if he were Espana. I lay awake for half the night while they they went swimming in the nude. Elaine said, don't be such a prude. On top of which there was the Spanish food. Got a heap paella. Every time you lifted up the lid, there was this horrible squid chopped in bits. I sent it back and had fish and chips. Elaine just walked it down. It's amazing, she said. While she went golden brown, I went red. Went to bed, felt like hell. Had salmonella. I went home alone. Elaine got married, settled down in Spain. When I returned, I learned my fiancé had booked some tickets and he'd gone away. He got this part in a new TV show. At least that's what he wrote on his going away note. It was El Dorado. I never 
much like Ravel anyway. <laughs> oh, lad! <laughs> Kit and the Widow, lovely, and they'll be back on the programme a little later on. Uh, here on the Desert Island, it has cost us at MMTV an enormous amount of money to bring the whole programme and Jeremy, who is on camera one, and you'll see him, I'm sure, later on, uh, here out to this Desert Island, and it is lovely. Uh, we do a quick weather forecast before we go any uh, further. Sean, I've dropped sand all over me again. Go on. Ooh. What? Nothing to say, James. Don't be wall stupid. Wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. Wall-to-wall -wall sunshine? Mm -hmm. There's Absolutely. nothing coming in from the west or going out at the east? Nothing at all. <clears throat> it's glorious sunshine all the way. I'm very, very un, un, unkeen, and uh, Jerry Hayes has got a new job in Parliament, actually, who's uh, manipulating the Prime Minister. Uh, <laughs> OK, thank you. Let's, let's get something done about this whaling, OK? Because people who want to kill these marvellous, marvellous creatures, a, a little serious point, really are, are villains of the piece. Villains of the piece. We're also talking about holiday romances, because people do go and have holiday. Have you ever had a bit on the side on a, on a holiday or not? A bit of what on the side? Well, you know, sort of a, 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 a little liaison. Have you ever met somebody and fallen hopelessly in love? I have to admit you that did. Oh, um, I was in Paris earlier this mm. year. <coughs> I went down to the um, French Metro, the equivalent of so Bracknell, the yeah. our Met office. And they're very different from our weather people, you know, down there in France. Really? All of them swanning around in Armani suits and beautiful Kenzo ties. Mm. You know, our lot, what, Clark Sandals and Sainsbury's carry No, bags. you're beautiful. You're be I mean, I sit there. I get <laughs> the as close over here. Can we get a real close-up of, of, of Sean's mouth? I mean, her mouth is... Can we get a... Can we... Look, look at that. Can we go in closer than that, Michael? Closer? Can we get right in there? I mean, that is the most beautiful mouth on television. No, you are... And you, you are the top top weather person, aren't you? Oh, this is why I went to Paris, mm. you see, it was to get this award. But um, you talk about romance on holidays, I could have fallen mm. for a number of those French scientists. Could you? <laughs> that was big there, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Could you? Mm. But did you? <laughs> no. You didn't? No, no I didn't. No, oh. I'm, I'm faithful. I'm loyal. Are you? Who too? Mm. My part. Oh, well, well, a shame. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, but now we're on a holiday, I'm told that most people, and we'll be exploring, exploring this later with a guest, most people do, at some point in their lives, have a holiday romance. Mm, have... Everything the scene is set, yeah. isn't it? Because he's miles the away. In... I mean, isn't he? He's miles away <laughs> from here. Side, mm. Yeah. Mm. But the sun, don't you think that does something to people? Yeah. But even in London you notice it, don't you? Well, I mean, a, a lot of people said to me that you're just doing a programme on, ho on, on holidays and, and stuff like that so you can get people with no clothes on, uh, which there will be later on, because we have a nudist beach not far from here which we'll be visiting. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, um, tell you, I see you've got clenched in your hand there. Do you want a glass of wine? Mm. Have a glass of wine, because it might get Lovely, you slightly thanks. fiddly. Um, and you've got chewing gum there. Oh, yeah, I, I always take chewing gum with you wherever I go. Yeah. Yes. I know, because you, you actually tell us that story. I, I, I tried to get Sean on the programme, actually, uh, right back at the beginning of the series, when you were in all the newspapers, for spitting gum. Yeah, unfortunately, ITN came to me sooner than I expected. And uh, I didn't have my little monitor on, such as you've got in the it's studio nice, this one. Here. See how close yeah. we're getting to you there? Yeah. Well, as Love you it. know, James, when I do yeah. a broadcast, look, I'm meant right to in look there. in the monitor and yes. see myself going on air. Oh, I didn't have it switched on. So uh, they came to me sooner than I expected, and I stood there with a glass of water, just like this, sloshing mm. around merrily in one hand, uh, a mouth full of chewing gum, yes. and my zapper that we use for changing yeah. the charts. I used to have that on a phoning program. Right, well, you know what I yeah. mean. We yeah. sort of like that. Um, doing a Madonna act with that, twirling that, and that's how I was taken on air. Well, you know, they do that to me sometimes. <laughs> but usually I'm ready for them now. Yeah, my problem them. was that you try articulating a three-minute forecast. Try what? Try saying. Articulating. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a, clears throat> What else do you do? I mean, is it difficult, Sean? When you're this is a serious part of it. I want to talk to you as a, a sort of serious interviewer, as you can see, wearing this coat. Um, when you're appearing on TV every day, or what appears to be every day, reading the weather. Oh, James, I mean, you, we do not read the weather. Sorry, performing the weather. Yeah, we you don't have auto cue. I know, nor do we hear. It you comes from the heart. Does it? Mm, absolutely. So everything you say is how you feel. It has a lot to do with it. The yeah. weather makes, we were talking about sunny days, weren't we? Sunshine makes people mm. feel happy. 
makes people want to eat al fresco, makes people want to sing full of the joys of life. Could you do that on one of those cameras and not look at me because we're missing it? Yes, I mean, it just, it's so wonderful. And you should be, you do a programme in Wales, don't you? On, uh, I do day. several things in Wales. I know yeah. you do several things in Wales. I do, <laughs> I do a food series do you? a holiday programme. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm available to be a guest. Hayes, come in here just a moment, please. <laughs> Jerry, come in here. Now, uh, you can do the competition. Oh, you. All right, I thought you'd like to do that. Have you got the uh, winner from the last yes, couple we of weeks? Have, and this was the horror programme, and the lucky winner is Nick Williams from Brighton. Well done, Nick! Nick. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. He's off to call food. He's off to call food. Don't hog. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. Now, have you got. Where's your chewing gum? It's here, but it has been in my mouth. It's a bit. Oh, can you hear my stomach? Um, is it? Is that nice? <laughs> oh, look at that. Look. Sean Lloyd's chewing gum. There's a, there's a oh, there's a filling, oh, filling in it. <laughs> She's got Actually, a filling. Have you got a filling in there? No, it's a bit no, of, I have oh, it's a bit of silver paper. It can't be mine. It's, it's a bit of silver paper. paper. Yeah. Okay, this oh, week's <laughs> competition. Not only do you get a holiday in uh, Crete, Crete, but you also get Sean Lloyd's chewing gum, well masticated, during whale on as well. But the holiday in Crete must be taken after the 15th of September 1993. And all you have project, to do... Project, project. I project. All you have to do, I'm going to read this, is ring 08919007 and give the right answer to this simple question. When was the first Mont Olympic Games held? 1066, 1896, 1984. So 0891 on the phone. 900 007. Phone lines are open until midnight Sunday. OK, don't give up being an MP, at least not for the moment. Right, um, <laughs> what are we doing now? Where are we? I think we're uh, we're popping over to the kitchen. Can you stay there for a moment? No, no, thank you. Oh, half of that. Can you stay there for a moment? Sean, you don't mind sitting there for a minute? Sure. OK. Would you... Um... Do you like this jacket? It's rather, it's, it, it, it's rather, it makes a, a fashion statement, doesn't it, actually? Um, very nice over here. I've got sand all over me. Florence, lovely to see you again, Hello, darling. Hello, Jamie. I'm glad you invited me today because this is a subject that is very dear to my art. Is it? Fashion. Yes. Fashion. This was given to me, by the way, this jacket you like by Screaming Lord Such. It's, One of his. It's lovely. Yeah. Uh, um, the, the British tourist, this. I'm sorry, Jamie, but it will not do. Well, I don't know. I think he looks for those. I mean, does he read the sun? Uh, yes, I thought so. He did. Yes, he reads the sun, obviously. Yeah, yes, well, I, I, and there's uh, no point in. Sorry? Oh, no, no. Me, no. Or even <laughs> worse than him. That's very good. <laughs> yeah, you that that wasn't me. I'm sorry. That was him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, fine, fine. Yes, lovely. Oh, come on. This is, this is Clyde, yes? Clyde, and yes. I know he can't help his colour because, you know, we French people call you English people uh, roast beefs. That's not because you eat it, it's because after an hour in the sun, you look like it pink all over. This is something you can't help, I'm sorry. But the clothes, this is very bad for British publicity. Is it? Uh, do we see a lot of these people I'm around? Uh, Jamie, I'm not yeah. lying. I see hundreds and thousands of them all over the beach. And, he, and he doesn't see anything wrong in it, I don't think. No. I, I, you love it, mate. You love it, do you? Yeah, yes. Yeah. I Could you not do a be... northern accent? It's not a very good northern accent, <laughs> and it really is rather <laughs> patronising, but carry on, yes? I, I think it's bad. Yes, I should think so as well. Um, right, carry on. Jamie, uh, you know, I know he has a good art. But, um, I don't think so. But I, I think, he I has. think he's an absolute. My mother loves me. Uh, but... And there's flies around me, isn't there, yeah. James? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Go on. But I would like him to change his clothes. I would like to see him in some little white shorts, maybe, and some little white plimsolls. And uh, I Is think. Is your he... sex life not very good at the moment, or what? What do you want to see him dressed up like that? <laughs> because I think it would help him a great deal. I think he needs yeah. a lot of help. I think he needs a lot of help, but I'd rather see somebody else in a little Very white short. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Sean. Anyway, go on, yes. But and I know because I've seen you on the beach before that yeah. you look very good. You look almost like mm. those chipper fields. Yes, I am. Almost yes, like, yes, almost I know. like the chipper I've, fields. I've seen them. Yes, I've seen them. <clears throat> a bit like the performer. Anyway, go on. So, uh, so that was it, Jamie. I just wanted to say that I, you know, I really think that, that they should change. There's nothing you can do for him, really, is there? Well, there's not think. a lot. I, yeah. you know, I think that maybe a sunblock, but not quite as much as he has on his nose. Yeah. And if it was spread over his body okay. a little bit, that well, would we've help. got we've got some people coming in with some swimwear later on in the May show. All right. You Thank you very clothes, much indeed, yeah, Led Florence. And uh, what Not was his name? Wales. It's Clive. Clive. James. Florence Clive. and Clive. Give him a nice Woo! thumbs up. Okay. Woo! Woo! Ah. Oh! Oh! Hang on. What are you doing down there? Get back down there. Get back down. Oh! Back down. oh! Okay, anyway, back uh, over here. 
I bet this never happens, does it, when you're doing stuff at ITN? It's worse than this at ITN. Really? Chaotic, yeah. Is it chaotic? Absolutely. Oh, OK, we'll find out more a little later. Uh, right, the competition to win that holiday in... Where was it? Where's the holiday? Just shout out. Greece. 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 OK, Greece. coming up on the screen. Ah, there it is on the screen now. The uh, question, simple question. Which was the date the first modern Olympics took place? Was it 1066, 1896 or 1984? Ring us on 0891 900 007. Lines are open until midnight on Sunday and the best of luck. For one short uh, moment in time, left the desert island and uh, come over here to uh, join Theresa Gorman, who you will obviously know, possibly the next Prime Minister. I don't know yet, do you think? Possibly, possibly. Who knows? Now, Theresa said, could she come onto the programme and uh, plug uh, a, a little something that she's interested in at the moment? Before we talk about that, you don't mind this. I've got sort of smoke and things because I wanted this to look sort of fairly spooky. I know. And there's uh, Margaret's in there somewhere. I don't know if we can see them. <laughs> we, mind yourself, mind yourself. There we, can we, can we can't see. Oh, I'm sorry about this, Theresa. It's embarrassing. Well, <laughs> if you get the camera... Oh, yes, yes. Can you see? There we are. It's Margaret. <laughs> she looks as if she'd just seen John Major. They're from... <laughs> you think... John Major's in the corner there. John Major's in the corner, yes. Uh, our artists and I together are from the Slade, so uh, you're from the Slade, aren't you? Uh, sort of. Yes, good, sort of. Some of them are left, some of them hasn't. haven't. Now, why is it necessary at this particular point, sort of mid-term, if you like, to uh, start bringing people's attention to the fact that we have a very unrepresentative parliament. There are only, what, 59, is it? 59 women in parliament? Yes, 59 out of 650 men. All those boring, grey-suited men running the country. And so we think that it's time we had a few more women in there. 75 years since women got the vote, and we decided to find out what progress they'd made in all that time. Very little. Very little. Right. Now, why you, you're so right about the boring men in grey suits, but they seem to feel that they have to dress like that to go there. Well, they're supposed to be serious, and they're not supposed to appear, incidentally, on shows like this. Of course not. And if people take much notice of us, then there's something wrong with it. And so that's how we manage to keep our jobs. But women are not <laughs> like that. <laughs> that's worrying. Well, we might laugh, but that well, is worrying. Well, I know, mm. but, you know, at least if they're half asleep, they're not doing as much damage as if they're half awake. As that to be said. <laughs> so you've got a lot of friends in the Palace of Westminster at the moment, obviously, Well, Teresa. I have after 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> I'm the nearest thing that they've got there to a blonde bimbo, believe it or not. Really? Yes. Do they get excited yes. about that? Oh, yes. Really? Yes. Oh, yes. oh, that's they interesting. Do. Why do you think women themselves are to blame? Do you think that a lot of women think, oh, I can't do that, it's, it's not the sort of job for a woman, and, or I've, I've got other commitments, I couldn't fit them in around it? Well, when women see the men fighting in the chamber, as they do every question time, you know, it's like a cross between a football match and a cockpit, they're not really <laughs> interested in being in that kind of a situation. But, I mean, but you do a bit of that yourself. You don't let people uh, get away. I mean, look at the speaker the other day. I thought I she was going to have apoplexy. I know, and it's all those turds on the Labour benches. <laughs> I'm not saying a word. Toads, toads. toads. You mean toads, toads, don't you? Yes. Toads on the Labour benches. It's funny, coming on there a programme with me does bring out the worst in people. It's quite mm. true, yes. Do, I mean, is the, I, I asked this question of somebody, I can't remember who it was some time ago. Why don't we have... To, I mean, they're, they're, you know, split down the middle in this country of men and women, more or less. Why don't we have two MPs representing every area, one male, one female? Well, I'm very glad you said that, because that's just what we're trying to bring about. We're doing an exhibition in the House of Commons between the 12th and the 16th, and it uh, commemorates what women have done so far. And in all those years, there's only been 163 women MPs. There's been 4,000 men. 163, yeah. is that And it? only 10 women have ever been cabinet ministers in all that time. It's the men, you know, they elbow you out all the time. So this exhibition is saying, 
But what we've got to do is change the system. And every constituency chooses a man and a woman, and then we're going to have equal numbers. The trouble is getting the men to pass that, because to pass that law, they're going to be turkeys voting for Christmas. Do they actually feel that they're representative, that people take any sort of interest in what they do or say at all? Well, if you show me a man that hasn't got an ego as big as a whale, like that wibbly oh, wobbly thing. Please, that's hurtful, <laughs> Theresa, that is hurtful. But... but it's true, and they all think that they're capable of running the country. And now, all of them, all of them believe these days we ought to have more women in the Commons, except their seat. OK, can women come along? I mean, uh, people are widely aware that they can just come along to the House of Commons and they can get in and they can look around, they can talk mm. to their MP. So they can come and see your uh, display of the House of Commons. They can come yes. and talk to you. Yes, they can. Anybody it's, at all? Yes, it's there for a week. And I want people to see it because I want people to be aware of the fact that after 75 years since women got the vote, the amount of progress we've made give or take one Prime Minister, is tiny. And really and truly, the Prime Minister and Parliament and all the lot of it would be a damn sight better if we had more women. Women are much more sensible, they're more practical. They know how to run a budget. I they know how to deal with the kids and they know how to run the health service. OK, you have a phone number. Where are you? Come in here. It is the normal rate. It's whatever the rate for an 08991 yes. number is. Yes. OK, cheap rate is 36 pence a minute and it's 48 pence, I think, at all other times. Cheap at the price. OK, Theresa Gorman, ladies and gentlemen, and yeah. Jerry Hayes. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, welcome, uh, welcome, welcome back to the Desert Island, and uh, welcome also Cosmo's Features Editor, uh, Vanessa Ralph, Raff, 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 Raffley, uh, Raff, 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 Raffley, Raffley. What? Raffley. Raffley, Raffley, yes, oh, Vanessa, love, I'm so sorry. When you're on a desert island, when you're on holiday, you do have a foot on that water. I could just put my toe in that water. <laughs> it's so... Uh, can you get your foot in there, Sean? Or not? That's lovely, isn't it? Do you want to go in for a little swim? <laughs> OK. Now, Vanessa, tell me, uh, Cosmo, as well as all sorts of other ladies' magazines, are always going on about holiday romances. Are we? You precious. know we are. Little stories about things, beware of them. I mean, are they as, as serious as people uh, make out or not? If you use a condom, if you're very careful, probably the worst thing that can happen to you is, you know, is that you get a bit of, you get a bit of blood. Ignore him, because he's, he's, he's not, I'm sorry, Jeremy was talking about crustaceans, I beg your pardon. <laughs> yes. The worst thing that can happen to you is you get a little bit of love sickness, yes. and you never die from that. Yeah. So I mean, I know they're probably a pretty good idea. Do most people have a holiday romance at some time in their lives, do you think? I think a lot of people have a holiday romance. Have you, James? No, I was just trying to think. I can't remember ever having been away on holiday. On Have you ever own. had a romance? James? No, no, romance is. I mean, I can't. I can't afford times like romance. I mean, Sean has said to me on this program live. She said, "I'm busy. <laughs> I'm not available. So there's no. I'm, I'm going to live like a, a Catholic priest for the rest a of my life." A hermit on the beach. A hermit a on the beach. A beach whale. Indeed. What? Um, what? <laughs> you, you talk. You talk about the condoms. I'm not very happy you about this. It has to be said. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. Carry on. Just coming back to the condoms, then. You don't have to fulfil it. Part of the holiday romance is that just to reawaken desire again, don't you think? Ooh, desire, she's well, such a sexy that, it, <laughs> <laughs> The uplifting experience. Well, desire can get you into a lot of trouble, and probably one of the best ways to limit damage is to use a condom. We're getting into sex. The two of you should know better. I was trying to talk about romance. I mean, romance. candlelit yeah. dinners on a, pl on a beach like this, a barbecue. A little but that's the point I'm making. Romance, as opposed to you, don't have yeah. to take it to its physical conclusion, do you? No, you, you can flirt on holiday. You can walk down the beach with a Spanish waiter called Pedro. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, would you? I mean, sorry. Would you? Would you ever? Would I? Yeah. I'm open-minded, James. What about singles holidays? Those are sort of a good idea. I mean, people go on those for romance well, or not. No, oh, I you think screw probably your a lot of people. Down. A lot of people go on singles holidays for everything but for romance, and if that's what mm. you want. Um, again, you know, there are worse things that can happen. I think a lot of a lot of women probably would like romance. A lot of men who go away would probably like um, a little bit of sex. Mm. And that's where the problem is. I beg you your pardon. A little bit. A, a lot, <laughs> even. Sorry. Yes. So I mean, Sorry. You, when you, being the features editor, though, you must have done features on holiday romances and the sort of you must have learned We've from done some features of them. on everything. Holiday romances yeah. are part of life. And, um, that, you know, and yes, of course, we've done them. So beware that although you feel that it may be the love of your life, a little serious note coming here, and that you are prepared to do things on holiday that you would never dream of doing, going well, down Kensington High Street. Well, one gets quite carried away on a beach, don't you, James? No. <laughs> oh, well, we're Sorry, go on, yes. Insult. So you have, to, you have to be careful. I mean... One should always be careful. 
mm. and you shoot. How, how, how can you stop a man, because you know what we men are like, you know, large in some areas and very small as far as the brain is concerned. Some of you might be large in um, some areas. Sorry, yes, I, I beg your pardon. I, I, always, <laughs> I always hold myself up as a model, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so what, what do you do? What do you say to a man to say, look, just because uh, Sean flirts with you when you're walking down this Caribbean beach, it doesn't mean well, that Shan, she's, she's, really, <laughs> she's really that interested. It's just the moment that uh, has, has, has got to her. What do you say to the man? Yes. How do you keep them at bay without making them feel sort of... Bye, darling. I'll see you tomorrow. Really? The same as everything. No peck on the cheek is a bit dangerous because if he walks you back to your room. No, because no, that's fine. I mean, as I said, it depends what you want. If you both want, you know, if you both want sex, then that's fine. You know, it's it's up yeah. to you. The thing is, people shouldn't get hurt, and that's emotionally hurt and physically okay. hurt. Okay, we've done the warning. Shall we now have a look? And uh, have we got Kevin out there somewhere? Hello, Kevin. Nice to see you, Kevin. Lovely to see you. How are you? Kevin, can you, there's a chair there, sit down, have a glass of wine. That's Sean, and you know Vanessa. Yeah. Uh, so now we're here, we've got some beach wear. Should we start off with the ladies? And yes. uh, Vanessa, please, you know, talk us through. Can we have, the, the, or should we have you all? No, let's just have the ladies first of all. Tell me who this is. It's like, it's like those daytime TV shows, isn't it? That's Debbie. Debbie, this is Debbie. Yes. And what is Debbie? Can anyone tell me what Debbie's wearing? She's wearing well? a PVC number. Oh, uh, yes. This is Debbie Does Dangerous. Debbie does dangerous. Yes. yes. I mean, is this uh, Debbie? Can we get the microphone a bit closer? Or uh, I haven't got one there. Can we just lean over here, Debbie? You apparently told me earlier you have had a little holiday fling. I did, yes. And? Five years ago, I married him two years ago. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Was it worth it? Yeah. And uh, what did he say when you first saw him? How did he crack on to you? Um, something like. Gosh, what a lovely town. Yeah. And it went from there, and that was good enough for me. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that sort of line worked anymore in this day and age. I see. Uh, what do you think of what you're wearing, by the way? N nobody ever asked the models. Oh, it's lovely. Do you it's like nice, it? Yeah. Would you wear that on a romantic holiday? Oh, yeah. Would you? Yeah. Well, I think do a little twirl and off you go. Thank you very much indeed, Debbie. And uh, this is... Uh, Mitchie. 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 And she's wearing a Harlequin number. It's very nice. Can you model this for us? Do, the, bit, do the business? Oh, God. Yes. Um, <clears throat> anyway, Jeremy's camera is shaking. Have you noticed that over there? Yeah. So I suppose, actually, Vanessa, you have to... It's very nice. Uh, and how much would that be? Um, if about I wanted, £70. Pounds. If I wanted to buy one for Sean, you see. Oh, but, oh but discounted. Discount. Oh, oh, fabulous. We can do it. Fabulous. Thank you, girls, very much indeed. Off they go. Give them a nice round of applause. They'll be back a little later. <laughs> I suppose... Uh, Vanessa, I suppose that you have to... I mean, there are all sorts of other things you have to do, don't you, when you're uh, going on holiday? I mean, you have to sort of get your bikini line done and that sort of thing. Yes. Do you do you have features on that? Or? We do features yeah. on that. We've actually done one on a man who had his bikini, white, bikini really? line plucked. Yes, it was called Real Men Don't Pluck. Really? Well, we know that they do, because <laughs> over here, we talk about him, and he does get into the programme quite a lot, but over on camera one, Jeremy over here has actually just had his bikini line done. Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy, <laughs> uh, I'm just so nervous talking to you about it, Jeremy. Uh, why? Well, it wasn't a guaranteed position on this show. No, well, it probably no, wasn't, but it's done you a lot of good. Well, this is it. <laughs> why? Because I like, um, call me old-fashioned, all yeah. but uh, I'm a heterosexual. I like oh, well, all right, girls. that's <laughs> not... I, I, <laughs> so, what, why did you... I mean, it seemed... <laughs> <laughs> yes, <all right. laughs> you want to hear this? Could you show us without showing us anything we no. can't see? Just no, Hillary Stewart. Uh, she wouldn't like it. I haven't signed a release form yet. <laughs> oh. But was it painful? Oh yeah. And I mean, if you do it once, don't you have to keep on doing it? I mean, it's sort of. Yeah. No, but I mean, it gets stubbly, doesn't it? Unless you don't no, help me. Keep going. Doesn't <laughs> <laughs> <I mean, laughs> bother me. <laughs> OK, well, people like to no, see... No, I like girls to do it, and somebody said, well, if you like it, why don't you try it? And I, I said, see. fine, if OK. You don't feel a prat going around telling people. You've told everybody here tonight. <laughs> no, buy. you've told everybody. <laughs> I have. You're, you're absolutely right. Uh, uh, Jeremy, thank you very much. You're indeed. welcome. We've got two guys over here, and I don't think any of them have had their bikini lines uh, waxed. Could you come on, please? And, uh, Kevin, do the honours. Uh, we've got Andy and Andy. Andy and Andy. Two handy men. Two handy men. Look at Vanessa's face in this, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> This looks, these, these, these look, are people, men wearing these these days? Uh, not all men. No? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Gary Jacobs and I would look absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> uh, how do they feel? It's quite comfortable. Is it? It feels comfortable. Yes? You wouldn't wear them on a beach. No, you wouldn't no, wear them in wear public. Beach. No, no. What about that funny little foot? Yes, yeah, yeah I definitely wouldn't wear that. <laughs> yeah. Why not? No, I just don't think it's me. To tell no? The truth. Could you unzip it a bit, just for, for charm, basically? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It's, it's really like a wetsuit, isn't it? I think mm. it's... It's not quite, at all like a wetsuit. I think it's very body emphasizing. And, yes, uh, I think it's like a wetsuit. I mean, it's, it's a wetsuit sort of shape, isn't it? You that's where the, that's where the similarity yes. stops. Well, OK, <laughs> pardon me for even making a fashion comment. <laughs> are they nice, Vanessa? Wetsuits are sexier. No, no. Oh, wetsuits are sexier. Absolutely. Mm. Why? Mm. Like a man in a bit of rubber. Do you? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> I see. OK, guys, thank you. How much do these uh, retail at? Um, £50 and £75. £50 and £75. OK, they're great. You're going to change into something else, guys? Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, and let's have our next one right in here, please. And Sean and I, of course, when Anne and Nick take a break of, on the BBC, we would be prepared, wouldn't we? And that, I mean, to do, no do, do all, morning... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, what, this isn't... Uh, you wouldn't swim in this, would you? Pose around in this Pose around in this I, I think um, the emphasis, well, emphasis on covering up. Yeah. Actually, that's a good point, isn't it? And we've missed that now. <laughs> go on, you, ca you carry on talking while we have a go on. I was going to make a weather-related yeah. point, though, because cause we are all coming up more and more yeah. in the sun now, aren't we? We are. Presumably that's been designed yes, with that in mind. Absolutely. Yeah, which is great. So people don't get as brown as they used to, do they now? Is there a bikini bottom for us? Yes, there is. Oh, that's rather lovely. That, that is gorgeous. We might try that on the boys. You'd like to try that on the board? <laughs> OK, well, whilst we're doing that, we've, uh, we've got our, we have our resident cabaret here, of course. We'll, we'll come... Oh, well, yes, come in now you're here. This is very nice, isn't it? Sorry about this, guys. We'll be with you in a moment. But, uh... <laughs> what can I say? This, you wouldn't get this wet, would you? No, I think it's more proposing. Can yeah? You yes, of course. Can, can you do a little twirl yes. again? Oh. Anyway, uh, we'll stay here on the uh, we'll uh, we'll stay here on the island for a while. Uh, but of course, the uh, the holiday nights draw in, and then you uh, you go to the bar and you expect a little cabaret. And uh, of course, we have cabaret for you here again, ladies and gentlemen. Whale on presents Kit and the Widow. <laughs> yeah. I must say, um, after those outfits, I feel really rather ordinary, not to say insubstantial. But um, moving on. Um, it is, it is, no matter how badly the English may behave, you know, overseas, it is worth remembering, I think, that, uh, you know, tourism is a two-way traffic. On the next occasion you travel the Bakerloo, put your novel down, my friend, and take a look around. Bearded men with anoraks, A to Z, have a set. Hundreds of Norwegians on the London underground Ever since the moment when plucky Leif Eriksen Paddled up the Skagorak, Reykjavik bound Norsemen wielding battle axe, sleeping bags on their backs Launched their terrifying attacks miles around Now Norwegians roam in packs, woolly hats, Union Jacks Can you please, sir, tell me where can Dolly's Hill be found? This is Portobello, no, no, I think Pimlico. Hundreds of Norwegians on the London underground. Their winter ends in May and then early June starts again. Gets a bit depressing there as Henrik Ibsen found. Ten to twelve their sun will rise, quarter past. Baby buys brighter and much warmer on the London underground. Norway didn't want to be part of the EEC, and the kroner's doing well, unlike the pound. Thus, from Norway's icy tracts, they export gravat lacks and hundreds of Norwegians to the London underground. Norway's population small, very few there at all. Some in desperation jumped like lemmings and got drowned. Some wound up like Edward Munch, off his head, out to lunch. Most of them sought solace on the London underground. Sweden has her swinging chicks, Abba songs, Bergman flicks, Volvos and Sopranos, both justly renowned. Rest of Scandinavia tends to be ravia, even Lapland can be a merry-go-round. But a nice Norwegian fjord leaves them cold, leaves them bored, no one gave a roll mop when they had King Harold crowned. Even poor old Edvard Grieg people call Second League, people say it's one tune going round and round. Hundreds of Norwegians on the London underground. Hundreds of Norwegians on the London underground. Once more, leave the train, mind the door, but don't forget Pierre Gint, my friend. His message is profound. 
Envy leads to wanderlust. That's why Norwegians must ride for all eternity. The London Underground. The Gap. <laughs> good thank you very much indeed kit and the widow uh, guys if you want to get on your uh, your swimwear now feel free and then we'll, we're all going to go in the water a little bit later on thank you very much them. that was wonderful uh, just before we go into the break can we have the other two guys kevin please uh, a little uh, wearing a short which we have at 40 pounds yes and um, towel is optional yes yes and andy number two is wearing um, a cycling shot, I would say. Right, OK. Well, well, we'll maybe see a little bit more. Uh, are they comfortable? <laughs> they? Let me ask. Yeah. I'm, oh, what I meant was, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just being told we must go for a commercial break. I meant we'll see a little bit more later. Yeah. I didn't mean we'd see more. Oh, never mind. Uh, you could win this holiday in, uh, in Crete. In Crete, that's it, yes, in Crete. If you could tell us the date of the first modern Olympics, was it A, uh, 1066, B, 1896, or C, 1984? The number is there on the screen to ring. And the phone lines are open until midnight on Sunday. I think you look delightful, I must say, don't you? Do you think they look nice? Much improved. We're back in a couple of moments. Thank you. Welcome back. Final part of the programme. A couple of weeks ago, we had uh, Engine Alley. Walk this way. Engine Alley on the programme. And uh, they sent me a little card, thanking us very much indeed. And would I like to come along to see them on uh, July the 3rd, which we've missed. I'm sorry about that, but thank you for the card. Pictures by the slate. I think I said that earlier, but just in case I didn't. Pictures by the slate. Uh, and over here, my special guest celebrity has turned up. Very special. Very, very special, very special. Sean. And in the cocktail bar, uh, Polly... I am so sorry. What are you sorry about, darling? Well, you know, last week it all came to a finish and that was it. And, oh, you know, I know. I, I, I... It was so sad and here I am, just a redundant soap star. No, but you're on Whale Island. And I and, love every and, minute and of it, darling. here on Whale Island we've got a bar and we're going to make some cocktails, because that's what... Super, I can't really wait. That. Yes. What do you think? Would she be any good at doing weather, maybe filling in occasionally when you're not She'd on? She'd be damn good at doing weather, because... Do you think... Yeah, absolutely, you speak from the heart. I was trying to tell you, you earlier on. Absolutely, you speak from the heart. And, and where's you do the heart? That, where you? is the heart? Well... <laughs> Isn't well, she lovely? She is. She's that nice. mouth yeah. is divine. You like the mouth, don't you? You like that, yes. Polly, what's, uh, what is on for you uh, after uh, this little uh, respite on Whale Island? Oh, lots of things. Uh, next week, I think on the 19th, mm. I'm doing um, a show at Heaven in London. And lots of little telly. Heaven. I'm in heaven. Oh, you must come back on the show and sing sometime. Will I'd you do that? To, I'd love to, darling. Will you? Yes. Oh, excellent. Hold, hold on to the microphone. I've got... I don't think I need, do I need that for this, guys? I'll hold it. Oh, you hold it. You hold it. Okay. Now... Oh, I did. Sorry, I need it for the guy. I'm sorry. Have it, dear. Now, watch this. Over here from, thank God it's Fridays. Or was it Thursdays? Fridays. Fridays. Okay. And you are... You can. You get this guy over here and I'll get this one over here. I'm Jason. You're... I'm Jeff. Jason. You sure? No. Sure, you are. Well, anyway, We've got an identity crisis. That's you, right. you are a couple of the best cocktail uh, shakers in the uh, in the country. Right. You do. Yeah. Okay. Are you trying to? No, I just, no, I just no. I got a little drink? confusion. Yeah. Hang on just a minute. Are you doing all the? Um, or am I? Okay, fine. I'll just put that down over there. For a moment. I'm sorry about that. Now, now TGFI, like as that. they say. Uh, TGFI. TGFI. Oh, yeah. Right. TGFI. Uh, run this competition. Mm -hmm. To find out the best cocktail show, you are entering that. That's the best right. Are, yeah. So who's going to win? Me. Me. Okay, <laughs> fine. Good. Uh, also, <laughs> you are there. able to conjure up a drink out of five hundred, just like that. If I say to you, I want something, you know exactly how to do it. Can Definitely. I have a drink? Do you want to order one? I'd love to. Okay, go for it. A slow, comfortable screw. A slow, comfortable <laughs> screw. <laughs> a drink, sorry. A drink. <laughs> a drink, a drink. Well, we got a couple of special Everybody drinks for you. Everybody wants to be a personality. <laughs> we got a couple of special drinks Mate, for you. As, as, as it's on the beach, we've got a long beach iced tea. How's that? Okay, would you do it? We'll stand well back. You okay, carry on with it. Okay, well. ladies and gentlemen, right. here right. we go. Right. This, this way, over here, right. Jeremy. Right. Do you like the whales? Nice, aren't they? Okay. Two long beaches. Here we are. Look at this. Need a tin next. Tin. 
Can you talk to me while I'm, while yeah, I'm doing that? Yeah, sure or not? we can. You can man. if you want us to. Okay. I mean, that, that we don't really better. mind. What do you want us to say? What, what, Tom Cruise, Stop. did uh, <laughs> he learn with you or not? Tom and Cruise? we actually taught him. No, yep. but not saying that because we'll get sued for that. Okay. But your company taught him, did they? Yes, right. we did. Yeah. And is he any good at it? Not uh, as good as us. No. Anyway. Oh, yeah, he's okay. He's okay. We how, how much did but you... We are better looking. You are. There's no One doubt about it in my mind. Is there... Uh, thank you. We don't want to talk to you. No, OK. Is, uh, is there any danger of breaking a bottle or not? Um, none at all. Not today. Honest. And you ready? I'm ready. Do, you ready for this? Do the company actually uh, take it out of your wages? No. No, the okay. best bonus is for how many we smash. Really? So we'll see what we can do okay. next, right? We're going to stop talking for a second. This is the hard bit. Go on. There we go. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. This, this is the hard bit. Oh, oh you're not clapping. Clap. OK, you ready? Three, two, three. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh. I just touched off a little bit of the beach. Just to make it over the beach. There you go, guys. OK, okay Polly and Sean, would you like to uh, go in there? And, uh, yeah, take, 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 a, take a drink, that's fine. We're going to come back in a few moments. Now, let's go over here. Gary, where are you? We've got to drop your spot. Don't do that. Get out. We haven't got enough time. Come That's over right. here. Right, I'm OK. On my holidays, anyway. Right, you're on your holidays. Yeah. You don't have to do your spot tonight. That's OK? No, I'm on my holidays. Right, I'm OK. I'm sorry about this. You know, you, you, where are we, Jeremy? Thank goodness. Now, where, where is uh, Lewis St. Just Mahogany? Where, where's my man? Give him a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. <laughs> OK, right. Gary, you're right. Don't, yeah, don't well, worry. Join me, so. Join me, Sam. Join me, Sam. Yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, OK, now, hey, Mahogany, man, how yes, are you doing? I'm fine, fine. How Good. Are you? I'm well, I'm yeah. well. Now, on the desert island, uh, yeah. we would have a bit of cabaret, but what are you yeah. doing with your stomach? Um, is the whale in here, you see? Is it? Yeah. It's a woman in here. The whale. Oh, the whale in yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody wants to... Yes. Now, you've... You've done... <laughs> You've done this for a lot of people, haven't you? Who you, you... Oh, yes. I've done it at embassies, uh, private parties, weddings, yes. birthday parties. You name it, I've done it. OK, we, we'd like to see you do a demonstration of limbo now. Yeah. And then we're going to get Gary over here, because I think Gary's a, a bit of a, a closet limbo dancer as well. Which one? He, well, we'll show you in a moment. Oh, OK, 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 OK. <laughs> OK? Now. OK, you go with it. It's rather very hot in here, you You know? take your clothes off, you carry on. If, yeah, OK, right. Whee! <laughs> Go, oh, yes. Cue the, uh, cue the music, yes. <laughs> Is that loud enough? <laughs> Gary, get over here. <laughs> We've got your assistant over here as well. We're going to go do the fire now. Is that OK? Uh, yes, we can. But yeah. first of all, is he going to do it? Yeah, OK. Well, let him get yeah. out. Yeah. First, of all, yeah. Okay. first of all, you push the pelvis forward. Yes. As if you are having an orgasm. Well, not exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> push it forward. Yeah. And then you... It is a family show. It is a family show. Yeah. Oh. Now, you bend backwards. Watch me first. Look, go on. Watch me first, then you... Come on, Gary. Roll your arm. I've got, I've got you, Gary. Like it's OK. This. I've got you. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll do the fire. <laughs> uh, OK, we're going to do it lower with the fire, cos we're running out of time. OK, yeah. Mahogany, let's have the fire on. Yeah. All right? OK, this is, uh, this, this is quite safe, isn't it? It is. OK, fine. I'll stand right over here, I think. <clears throat> ah. That's it. Can we go any lower than this or not, Mahogany? <laughs> <laughs> very, <clears throat> very nice, Mahogany. Don't get dressed up too soon, Gary, because you've got to do this afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, you can do that, can you? Oh, I see. You could do this as well? I've got Gary Jacobs over here. Wanting to do anything on TV? Can, we, can he have a go? Can he have a Yeah, let him have a go. Okay, I'll hold this. Hold those, all right? Okay, this has never been done on television before. If is the shirt flammable or, yeah, or not? Yeah, get, the shirt off. get a get shirt. shirt off. Can you, Ian, get that, get that off, quick, quick. Oh, 
Can't we light it? Okay. <laughs> there we are. That's good. Okay. Is he? How, what are you doing? Oh my golly! We're getting a strip tease over here as well. It, it, it's yeah, yeah. Go on, Mahogany, go on, Mahogany. You do, you do the stuff. Go on over there. Your, your clothes are coming off, Mahogany. Look at this, Gary. Hey! Woo! <laughs> very, very good indeed. Can we, uh, can we get to the shot? Come on, have a go. Hey, oh, 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 no, no, I'm not very supple. Are you not very supple? Are you not very supple? No. Okay. No, but, I mean, Mahogany, I think that really is brilliant. <laughs> Come over here, Gary. I, really? There, what did you think of him? <laughs> yes, you're looking very good. No, don't take any No way. No. Right. Uh, I see. <laughs> OK. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed. Tonight's programme on Whale Island has been wonderful. And the guys are going to carry on until they get down as low as they can go. Special thanks to everybody that's been on the programme tonight, particularly Polly Perkins and Sean Lloyd, who I'm sure we'll be seeing more of later. Uh, and if you're going on a summer holiday in the near future, do have a lovely time. Thank you for... Uh, thank God it's from... <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else. Jerry, where's Jerry Hayes going this? Because I'm very surprised. When, when, whenever we, uh, whenever we do something like this, Jerry Hayes usually has it. I better have a go at the end, hadn't I? I'm not going to take my clothes. I have a nice weekend. Uh, Jeremy, you go as well. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 All right. Thank you very much, indeed. That was excellent. Okay, that's lovely. That's great. Uh, well, that's it. Have a nice time. I don't know how you have the nerve to do that, but well done.